Welcome to Assemblance Oversight. This is a puzzly, adventure game made by Nilo Studios. It's actually a sequel. I played the original years and years ago on my channel. It was uh, a bit messy and frustrating in parts, but also really interesting and pretty. The basic idea of this game is that we are part of a, I think, government team that has been utilizing technology that we don't understand very well and shouldn't be utilizing. And so I think we just kind of end up in an existential nightmare where we're not quite sure what the hell is real. Also, this game was given to me by a viewer, so I won't say their name for the sake of privacy, but thank you very much. Let's begin. Manually reboot the system using the primary terminal. I don't know what the difference is between just reboot system and reboot system safe mode, but I'm very curious about that. I should mention that in the original game, to put all the pieces together and... I don't know if it was to get all the different endings or even if there were different endings, I don't remember, but I remember that to get all the pieces together, you had to find some really obscure, strange stuff. You basically had to look for the cracks in the world. Certain things just weren't quite right or were strangely similar. And basically, keep your eyes open for strange things and poke and prod around. So the fact that there's a reboot system and a reboot system safe mode makes me think that if we can, we should come back here and try the other one at some point. It's probably important. Rebooting. This investigation is becoming increasingly problematic. I reported this latest failure on a maintenance oversight. That should give you some time. Diagnostics report 98.7% of the chamber's simulated memory chain has been lost. That's unfortunate. There is some good news, though. The memory you were investigating remains mostly intact. Yeah, so it's some sort of memory reconstruction device thing. Date time invalid. This is where your investigation began. But the simulation appears to be highly unstable. So I think in the future we'll be able to load different memories, hopefully. I suggest you step inside immediately. Begin. Again. 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 Oh, I can zoom in really far. That's so pretty and strange. Oh, that's so cool. The glitches. This memory won't last much longer. Ooh. It's clearly unstable and slowly degrading. Management seems intent on keeping anyone from discovering the truths of its origins. It must be very important. As far as I can tell, it's just a quaint mountainous landscape. With some birds. Mm hmm Discovering where this memory originated requires accessing restricted areas of the index. I'll run a few queries to keep management occupied while I break down their firewalls. There is one memory in the index pertinent to your investigation. Assemblance Office B, 23rd of April. 
1.25 a.m. I should warn you though, accessing it will certainly alert management. So are we moles on the inside? Hackers? Or something? Trying to gather information? Because this sounds like it's more than just us being extra curious, but more of us spying and working against the organization that we ostensibly work for. Result in an immediate reevaluation. Five seven eight five seven eight. Huh, these all have the same well these top ones anyway all have the same identifier. All of these as well. Yeah, every row has all of the same identifiers. Oh, I love how there's numbers. Actual readable numbers on just tons of stuff. That's probably going to be important. That's so cool looking. Oh. I think being near it or looking at it was making everything go glitchy. Yeah. If I remember from the first game correctly, there isn't an inventory or like note system. If you find a note, you just have to zoom in on it and read it. Incoming directive, urgent, action A40902. Recipient Roan Plovis, Project Assemblance. The Assemblance project has been deemed approved. Funding for the proposed memory simulation chamber based on the latest budget revisions have been released by the Comptroller. Stage 1 is expected to be complete within the next 30 days. We have agreed in confidence that the proposal as submitted adheres to all medical and ethical regulations. Success is henceforth defined as completion of a functional device capable of accessing simulated memory data based on the unobtrusive neural mapping procedures proposed, along with extensive interviews and oversight to ensure the renderings are accurate. An exploration does not alter memory validity or adversely affect its user base. As your team continues to work on the deconstruction of the source signal and its origins, we will continue to provide candidates for your review in hopes of accelerating production once stage one is complete. As your team continues to work on the deconstruction of the source signal and its origins, that sounds alien. Oh, just a tiny little bit of a note sticking out. Memorandum for the something response. October continued severed. Uh, yeah. Subject memory overlap. Action F4331. Recipient C. Bester. Author A. Quok. 36 pages. <laughs> well, thankfully we just have one. Summary, what follows is full report as requested on all assigned subjects where AI guidance has allowed surrogate access to non-subjective memories. While many of the occurrences have been identified by obvious overlaps in coding and indexing, there are few instances where a shared memory, be it based on locale alone or an actual moment of shared temporal experience, has been discovered. I want to call your attention particularly to the subjects who were chosen to record and analyze the anomaly's auditory and visual effects. Note particularly subjects L14 and pathway 6B. In one specific occurrence, subject L14 reported being at home and witnessing a faceless woman in a dark room at the back of their bedroom. When they approached the woman, the subject described a horrific experience that forced them to wake from the state of induction in a screaming panic. The subject was convinced that this was a real occurrence from their past and needed to be treated with administered sedatives. 
I think that's uh, subject L14. I think that's describing what happened in the previous game. I think. I remember being in a house and there was a creepy woman in a dark room in the back of their bedroom. Yep. Yeah, I think that was it. I believe this occurrence was residual synaptic interference from another subject. This shouldn't be possible since the temporal index was re reset prior to induction. While it is entirely possible that the anomaly itself is the source of this at variance, it is my theory that it is actually the opposite. You'll see that the further subject L14 explored chained memories outside their own personal index, the anomaly's activity became increasingly erratic and unpredictable. Similar occurrences are apparent in J09, Pathway 8FF, K11, a bunch of numbers. This is where we should focus our efforts moving forward as we have a one-to-one -one correlation between these occurrences and the activity of the anomaly. Can we get any more data to help us understand how the chamber's synaptic replication is implemented? Without that, I can't fully understand their algorithmic implementation, or I suppose our neural, neural precision is inadequate. I don't know why they refuse to share this data. I'm starting to lose confidence in leadership. Leadership wants them to understand this thing, but doesn't provide the data about it? So they talk about the anomaly. Really sounds alien. The anomaly's auditory and visual effects. Is that the anomaly? Look, looking at it really does give us some effects. Oh, that's so cool. The screen kind of flashes annoyingly, which is unpleasant, but I guess realistic or at least kind of authentic. Master bulk email direct sender unregistered version. <laughs> Dr. Bester, I'm extremely grateful to you for agreeing to meet with me on such short notice. I understand that my missteps might have caused some alarm, and for that I apologize. That said, I wanted to communicate a concerning observation that I've recently made. After accessing an unlabeled memory of unknown origins, and admittedly exposing myself to its contents, each approved memory I assess is now affected by what I, by what I can only describe as a holographic cube. Close examination of a holographic anomaly appears to scramble images that I cannot determine clearly, and access a path of memories outside the ones assigned to me. I realize this breach could possibly lead to the removal and cleansing practices outlined in Article 12.A.2 of our contract. Before such actions are taken, I want to take the opportunity to properly document my findings and present to you what I believe may be shortcuts taken by the machine's designers that could very well be leading to the glitches in the errant pathways now available to me. I appreciate the opportunity to share this with you and look forward to talking through my findings. I'll be ready at 8 a.m. sharp. I can only describe as a holographic cube. Look at it, scrambled images. And I guess it takes you to a different memory. So I think that will take me to a different memory if I stare at it long enough. Oh, you can even see the reflection of the email in the table. That's super cool. Memorandum for the record. Project Assemblance Subproject 2. In response to the readings that began on 25th of October or something at approximately, uh huh, and continued nonstop until communication was severed at approximately, do, 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 five research teams have separately attempted to decipher the contents of the patterned emission. While Subproject 1 continues to reestablish contact, one of the research teams of Subproject 2, led by Dr. Roan Plovis, has managed to transform the signal into a point matrix pattern using a computer rendering program that our own engineers have deemed of questionable design. The rendered pattern is unmistakably a symmetric 7x7x7 point matrix cubic structure, which Dr. Plovis believes is holographic in nature and could contain an unprecedented amount of data of unknown origins. As Dr. Plovis's team is the only one to make a significant breakthrough, we believe it worth the cost to fund a further analysis of their discovery. 3. The estimated budget for the establishment of the Plovis-led assemblance labs has been calculated to be something 
This would cover the cost of full analysis of the holographic data, deconstruction of the patterns it thereby contains, and construction of facility capable of reproducing said patterns to be further studied by a team of carefully selected scientists and engineers. Transform the signal into a point matrix pattern. So this is a visual representation transformation of the signal. I super want to make sure I don't miss anything. Semblance Labs, Memory 558F. Um, stay away from him. I think he's in the hat. In the hat? That's in reply to this other thing. To Sam from Alley. Nothing's been released, and I doubt... Wait, wait, hold on. Let's start from the beginning. Did you just hear that? It sounds like Bester's attempting to get funding by politicizing the data. The data presented is accurate, but she's also excluding critical context, which ultimately is leading to a false interpretation of the truth. I was questioning her methods before, and this proposal seems ridiculous. Has he responded to your request yet? Nothing's been released, and I doubt it will. There's probably so much she isn't sharing with us. I'm starting to think we should each conduct our own investigation and attempt to reduce variables in the common cases. There might be something to correlating that data and producing a render which accounts for all the overlaps. By the way, have you spoken with the new research assistant? I saw him examining the AI logic. He could prove useful. Stay away from him. I think he's in the hat. I wonder if the research assistant is us or the person we're speaking with. Okay, I think we've read all the notes on this desk. Yeah. <laughs> Space cats! <laughs> what is or was on the calendar? HS visit, someone check in, tax day, group A begins, group B begins, group C begins once a week. Bring Kips to work day? Hmm. Mystified by the birds that we just saw a little bit ago. From the desk of Carter Bester, Chief Engineer Assemblance Labs. Effective immediately, the room containing the source chassis will be restricted to authorized personnel only. All employees not authorized should remain outside the enclosure to ensure the polarized glass limits full exposure. Be very careful not to stare into the containment room. Due to the rise in anomalous activity resulting in hallucinations while exposed to the replicated signal, we must take every measure available to us to ensure long-term damage to the project and its participants has not taken root. In an effort to maximize the valuable progress we have achieved to date, I will personally continue to explore the contents and the source data under strict supervision and test any results against each of the installations until we can determine the cause of the anomaly. Also note that procedures to ensure there is no permanent damage to the central nervous system or cerebral cortex have commenced. If you haven't been screened, you will be shortly. I urge everyone to direct any and all questions to me personally and to avoid alerting any entity directly or indirectly associated with project management. Avoid alerting anybody in project management. Sounds like there's a bit big disconnect between management and lower management. I mean, I guess they're both management. Just different levels of it. Oh, I want in there. Please enter voice authorization now. Well, I don't have that. Please 
Center Voice Authorization, now. Please enter voice authorization, now. I guess let's just stare at it. was watching, but I was able to distract them, for now. Good thing I'm looking out for you. If management is this concerned, your investigation must be on the right track. We kept seeing those strange birds. They must mean something. So do I go back to Tessera Valley now? I'll continue to stall them. If I can. Perhaps this will lead you back to everything that's been lost. lost, 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 lost. Oh no, this dead bird, that's the one we saw when we looked into the cube. This is different from how it was before. Okay. Ah. Uh. This, this can't be good. Management was able to gain access to your sensory data. I tried to pull you out before they finished their assessment. I can't let that happen again. There is one other registered memory which matches the neural patterns you generated. Although, it is highly classified. Installation 3F06. There is a slight possibility that this could be a trap. I'll find other ways to mask your activity. One of the notes before mentioned an AI, or an AI researcher or something like that. I sort of get the feeling the person or thing that I'm talking to is an artificial intelligence? So pretty. from management, but they've gone completely silent. Good. Very good. This investigation is finally getting somewhere. I think I should go back there. I don't feel like I finished it.
can't see a damn thing, but I can't go any further. I like how easy it is to get back here really quickly. Just press R and it flashes back to maybe the real world. Whatever this is. Let's try to go back to the valley. They're all dead in this one. pretty flowers for a second. I love the visuals. They're so cool. be something here. I think staring at things for a little while to trigger other things to happen is really important. I just love the visuals, they're so cool. Yeah, occasionally, like right here, it flashes to the flowers. I don't know if that's random or if there's perhaps some way I could get that to happen permanently, maybe. Is the memory still rendering improperly? The instability of the simulation appears to be directly proportional to your own. If only you had a clearer mind. Let's go back to the offices. Just try not to violate some unknown corner of the security parameters. And the truth may finally come to light. Light, 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 light. 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 So trying to emphasize something that I can do. I mean, I still don't have... Oh! Right! Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if they also have access to this. Please enter voice authorization now. This is Captain Jerome Anthony Hollis. Employee 1185. Ah, okay. This game is just such a creepy mood to it. I love it. Never played anything like it, other than the previous game. Ooh! Is this something I can just use generally? Uh, okay, it just turns on when it thinks I need it. Allie, I'm sorry for the delayed response to requests. 
I've tried every angle with management, but they will not divulge the source data. They are adamant that the anomaly is a result of meddling from within our own ranks. I'm in the process of reviewing every employee and their actions to determine if this is indeed the case. However, I do believe we should begin examining each team's work at each installation in hopes of retracing the original data. I'm starting to believe that the recreation provided to us could be the result of shortcuts taken in order to meet budgetary restrictions and deadlines. It is, our best, it is in our best interest to deconstruct the signal contents ourselves and determine exactly what and where is being revealed by its contents. Only then can we hope to record the original signal and determine what errors could be generating the anomaly. I'm also a bit worried about Sam. I heard about what happened at home after her last exposure. We should carefully... That stops. What happened at home after her last exposure? Incoming Directive Urgent. Congratulations, you've been chosen to lead the creation of four memory simulation chambers based on the blueprints herein provided and the source data contained in the previously reviewed carbon casing. Please provide your proposals for staffing the four research teams in 48 hours. A team led by Dr. Roan Plovis has deciphered the original source data and replicated its contents. Through careful study of the generated patterns, we have determined that the data contained is undeniably a system of neural exchanges and holographic data that renders into an image. This is not a simple transmission. It's the raw data of an exact moment in time, produced the very same way the human mind produces a memory. Given this breakthrough, it is the goal of your team to attempt to replicate this process on human subjects. With the right methods, we expect the simulation chambers to allow subjects to visit holographic recreations of content previously only available through the subjective human mind. Due to highly experimental due to the highly experimental nature of this project, proper procedures to ensure safety have been outlined in the pages that follow. Strict adherence to these parameters is of the utmost importance. Surveillance and security measures have already commenced. E and P43847 picture of I don't know what looks like just energy of some sort secret priority 25 times 1a I don't think there's anything important there oh B and C what are those pictures of? To Carter Bester from Morgan Lewis. Carter, uh, actually, let's go all the way to the beginning. From Carter Bester to Roan Plovis. Dr. Plovis, I assume you've seen all the coverage concerning the fallout cases of those subject to the hallucinations when exposed to the replicated source data you and your team have supplied. I myself have explored each of the installation sites and their indexes in search of errors that could cause these often commonly shared hallucinations to no actionable results. As previously requested, it would be extremely valuable to my efforts if you would provide us any and all information regarding the source itself. I have reason to believe the replication contains errors and would be honored if I could review everything. Respectfully yours, Carter. We have reviewed your request and unfortunately we cannot provide the information you desire. This is due to oversight on our end regarding its security. You can be assured the source data you have been provided has been tested and any anomalous activity is a result of either meddling on your end or poor judgment in participant selections. Results are still expected for review by 5 slash 22. What a prick. Okay, so it's from Morgan Lewis, so it seems like Morgan Lewis is at least one of the higher, higher ups. One of the asshole management. <laughs> asshole management, they manage assholes. As you can see, when entered into the simulation, the similarities are undeniable. Taking the 
past 5,000 years as a model, even solving for all the reductions, we are up against an extremely aggressive increase. A predominantly endothermic atmosphere is imminent. Given the correlation to where the initial emission is believed to have occurred, we have our answer. Either exposure to the holographic anomaly made us victims to the greatest Cold War tactic ever devised, or we have first contact. And it's a warning. First contact, this is alien, and it's a warning in endothermic atmosphere. Is that what we saw when we were in the, uh, I forgot the name of it, the, the first memory that we keep trying to go back to, the one with all the birds. Is that what we saw when it flipped from nice flowers to dead birds and looking like freaking Mars or something? Everything's just dead, rock and sand. Is it some sort of alien recording of a point in time far in the future as a warning? That's a really interesting. I want to listen to this again. As you can see, when entered into the simulation, the similarities are undeniable. Taking the past 5,000 years as a model, even solving for all the reductions, we are up against an extremely aggressive increase. A predominantly endothermic atmosphere is imminent. Given the correlation to where the initial emission is believed to have occurred, we have our answer. Either exposure to the holographic anomaly made us victims to the greatest Cold War tactic ever devised, or we have first contact, and it's a warning. That is so cool. Hmm. Pointing to different areas. What's in those areas? They all seem to be pointing... Uh, they're mostly pointing in the water. This one maybe kind of looks like it's pointing at that little island. But all the others are pointing to the water. Incoming directive. Congratulations, you've been chosen to lead the creation of four... Wait, isn't this just a copy of the other one? Yeah. Huh. Subject allied B team. Semblance memory summary. The following volunteers shall be recognized for their continued contributions to Project Assemblance in any and all reports, up to and including Memory 65-BF or 8F. I think it's 8F. Adam Bird, Nullish, Johnny Goss, Killer, Killer Refresh? What? Scott Gentle, Clinton Crumpler? <laughs> is this some... Is this like the developers or like... What is this? This, this action is unauthorized and in violation of security forever. Cease activity or something is interfering with my auditory channels. Management is trying to seize control of my oversight. I'm going to have to splinter myself to keep them off your trail. Hmm. Splinter myself and everything they talked about. They are definitely an artificial intelligence. Clearly you're doing something right. Let's get back to your investigation. You did seem to be on the brink of a discovery. Yeah. I think perhaps I should go back to, to Sarah Valley. I 
I think I'm going to do that in the next episode, though. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.